Hello guys, welcome back to this uh, new video and uh, today uh, we're gonna make part 3 on, of the uh, magneto-optical effect. The system is uh, uh, the one I have showed you uh, in the last two videos and uh, I really suggest you to go and see them. Uh, but there are again some minor changes and this is due to make the effect, effect more visible. So, uh, first important change is that I've uh, placed I don't know if you can see that there. There's a linear polarizer above the 45 degree mirror. And uh, as usual, we have the second polarizer, linear polarizer up here. As you know, we have our helium laser, which is linearly polarized. It shines uh, on this 45 degree household mirror. Then the beam passes through that linear polarizer, it goes through, let me stop the beam here, it goes through our dielectric medium, which in our case is olive oil, that is placed inside this graduated cylinder. The total length of olive oil is um, 17 centimeters. Then we have the support that that uh, helps us to uh, keep in place the second linear polarizer and the lens which purpose is just to enlarge the spot size of the of the beam on the screen that is going to be the, the ceiling. Uh, the, the purpose of the first polarizer is, uh, is this one. I'm placing two polarizers um, one before the dielectric mirror and one after and I'm going to initial place them almost at uh, uh, 90 degrees so that we have no intensity output of the second uh, polarizer and so uh, when the angle of polarization will be um, changed due to the Faraday effect the output beam will gain some intensity uh, then we have uh, four car batteries Uh, which are hooked up in a series for a total voltage of almost 48 volts and here we have an amp meter which helps us to know uh, the amount of current in amperes that is flowing in our system here we got our switch it's the usual one now I'm going to try it with one hand to turn one polarizer as you can see we are approaching the 90 degree condition and here I will add just a bit of intensity going through so that you know where the beam is. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. 